Hello everyone, welcome to the Engineering Projects YouTube channel. In the previous video tutorial, I have guided you how to create the design for the menu. Let's create the database for that. And here in the database, I am using MS SQL Server Management Studio to create a database so that I can easily manage my code and SQL separately. New database and named as our project which is tutorial project let's enter the name of the project as tutorial project click ok and it will get add here in the database now what we need to do we need to create two tables and here right click Uh, oops uh, first expand go to the tables and now right click on the table to add new tables new table and named as menu location where we will store the location of the menu so that uh, we can justify which URL links to be shown at where place so it is the ID and the data type of ID will be int okay so it will be <coughs> int uh, let's take time int and after that we have the location which will be uh, watch hour but not then it will be at least 30 and then links which will be in the id will be primary key so here we will search for identity a to z and here is where is i here is the identity specification yes it is identity and increment by one now get its script <coughs> so here is the script copy it go to the new query and execute this script paste the code here like this and execute oops there is a little mistake happen and that is uh, I don't change I didn't change the name of the table so right now what I need to do I need to rename it so it will be the menu location and hit enter so the name of the menu is get change now <coughs> we need to attach this database in our project so we need to see the properties and name of the here is the server view connection property and here are the details of our database okay uh, go to the web config of your application and in the bottom create connection string okay so here we have created connection string okay uh, right here inside that we need to add and in add there will be the name name you have to give the name to your connection string such as uh, I will say <coughs> database is the name of the connection string now define the connection string 
here uh, you need to define the data source and the table and so on the name of the table integrity security etc etc uh, to save the time what I will do I will copy uh, <coughs> the context from Microsoft official website and it is somehow like this okay uh, change the name as I will say I, I, I need to change the name as database and here is local DB okay so our source is local DB so <coughs> what is the source here and you can extract the information from here and put that in your connection string such as what is the name of our database so database name is this okay so we just need to change the name here here is the name okay and where it is located we need to define that you can also add the connection string for the <coughs> purely ADO based uh, application uh, like this I am replacing this with the ADO connection string so here is the connection string name as tutorial code connection and here is the SQL Server Express the name of this you can see that SQL Server SQL then you need to use your database name here tutorial project and rest will be the same okay so now uh, you have done with your uh, SQL connection with your application now it's time to test that it is working or not now it's time to read the this connection string and to validate that uh, it is working or not so <coughs> in the default controller uh, I will call a code example which is get from the visual studio <coughs> Microsoft uh, official website MDSN which allow you to test that either it is working or not so come at the view and <coughs> even that go ahead with this and add the code here so the <coughs> we need to check that uh, the configurations are working or not so instead of using this it is a little bit confusing we will use our own uh, code what we will do we will create the SQL connection so for that I will say SQL call connection as connection is equal new SQL connection <coughs> then the configuration manager config configuration manager dot connection strings and the name of our connection string which is this paste it here in double quote dot connection string now add the references okay it's working here we need okay so it's working fine now so what we will do we will say connection dot open 
if the connection dot state and uh, <coughs> whatever the thing uh, you want to add like I'm going to build the logic as and connection dot uh, oops connection state connection connection state SQL connection state dot open is greater than zero so we get to know that whenever the connection string uh, is open so it is greater than uh, zero because it is one uh, in that case we have a value or whatever we will store in the view back and we can uh, use uh, response dot write as we can uh, <coughs> use the view back to view back dot result is equal connection is ok <coughs> ok and now we will use that in this view go to this view in the view we will call the view back to check that either it is working or not here uh, view back dot title is this <coughs> now we will add here as view back simply so now okay <coughs> Uh, we will call this here now execute that in browser so now when execute uh, this application it say that connection is okay now we will work further on the insertion and amplification of data in the next video tutorial I hope this video tutorial is informative for you if you have any kind of question regarding this you can ask us and don't forget to subscribe the engineering project YouTube channel take care bye bye